Welcome back to the channel. My name's Turk, as it always has been. Today, we're doing the third of the guaranteed song reactions chosen by members of my epic tier on Patreon. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a cover of Aerosmith's Dream On, performed by Postbon Jukebox featuring Morgan James. Now, if you're wondering, yes, this is my second take, because apparently I couldn't get through all those words without tripping over every third one of them. But, second time's a charm, apparently. Um, before I get into the video, as always, just want to give a quick shout out to everyone who's interacted with the channel, uh, whether they've liked it or not liked it. I, I take something away from every bit of feedback and believe me, it's been heard. Um, that being said, if you do like the video, please feel free to do the usual like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it gets the channel out there a bit more. Maybe more people will check out a video of an artist they haven't heard of before, winds their experience with music, and that's one of the main reasons I started the channel to begin with. Um, however, if you would like to support the channel even further, and get a few benefits for yourself out of it at the same time, uh, feel free to head on over to the Patreon channel. The link will be in the video various points and also in the description over there you'll find three tiers of see can't speak three tiers of the subscriptions um, that being champion tier legend tier and epic tier champion tier gets all the exclusive content early access behind the scenes videos including a really bad photo of me with a beehive hairdo wearing a kilt on stage um, and they get a chance each video it's random chance of everyone in that tier of getting a shout out in the next video um, Following that is the Legend tier, which is basically everything in the Champion tier, plus you're guaranteed to get a shout out in each video. And lastly is the Epic tier. And members of the Epic tier get all the benefits of the previous two tiers, plus once a month uh, they can request a song and I will do a it's guaranteed that i will do a reaction video for it i will attempt to do it in the uh following seven days after that but i can't always guarantee it because life gets in the way sometimes uh, if it's a song i have heard of before um obviously they can change their choice if they wish but if they do wish me to do that song instead of a reaction it'll be more of an analysis video well, without further rambling, because we all know that's what I love to do, um, let's get on with the song, shall we? Gonna pause it just before she starts singing uh, that's a very interesting arrangement of the song well, obviously the structure hasn't changed but just the difference between you know a regular pop rock song because let's face it good part of their career you know 
they wandered into the pop territory more than rock and I'm not going to criticise that because I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, but transposing that to, you know, be a song performed on, you know, traditional classical stringed instruments like the cellos and violins and the double bass that they've got there, plus a grand piano, well, it's a side of it. That song I hadn't heard before, that's for sure. Uh, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the original. I'm not the biggest Aerosmith fan. I do like some of their stuff, like Sweet Emotion's a great song. Um, but I kind of like it done like this. We'll see how it goes with the vocals. I can't imagine there are doing a track with someone who doesn't know what they're doing, however, because they seem fairly professional in their approach to things. I'll just pause it there before it goes back into the next section of the verse. One thing I will give Stephen Tyler credit for, it's really hard to match his vocal output. You know, I don't think I'm surprising anyone here when I say he's got a rather large mouth. A big mouth is really good for a vocalist because they can project more they can do a lot more with their voice purely because of the size of their mouth other artists have other advantages Freddie Mercury had multiple advantages because he had a big mouth and extra teeth somehow that just combined to help create an amazing iconic voice but Steven Tyler very iconic voice very hard to do what he does I think she's doing a good job she's obviously not trying to do his style she's doing the style that's dictated by the fact that it's postponed jukebox doing a version of it but some of her jumps between pitches have been really well controlled yeah certainly can't take away from her talent and like i said it's hard to you know live up to the preceding vocalist take on the song everybody's got Nice choice. Where it comes or where it goes, I know it's everybody's sin. You got to lose to know how to win. Just 
just before the chorus, I kind of have to correct myself. When I say I'm, you know, as I said, not the hugest Aerosmith fan, i to say one place that the original of this song really works. I, I'm not a hugest fan of it just by itself, but just the structure of it and the emotion that especially the uh, choruses, especially that end chorus are sung with, makes it a fantastic soundtrack in a television show or a, a movie. I'm pretty sure I've heard it more often used in that instance than I have just by itself. That's where this song actually does excel. And writing a song that works well in movies is a really good way to actually make money out of music. Yeah, a lot of bands will make way more off a song when it gets picked up, you know, licensed to be used in a outside medium like you know visual media or you know a sporting event or whatnot because of the licensing fees than they ever would off album sales or even less so Spotify now. Because let's face it, Spotify while it's great in and YouTube for that instance, in getting exposure for a song. Yeah, the artist does not see much of that money. Right. Unless you're doing well, most bands use, or nowadays I've noticed, use a release more as promotion for tours, and tours are a promotion to sell merchandise like t-shirts and hats and the like because merchandise is where the money is and bands need that money to be able to survive to make more music to tour uh, to sell more merch it's a nice vicious cycle which generally isn't too good on the mental health of said musicians uh, been there done that burnout's a real thing Anyway, I'm going to go back. Oh, just one thing I wanted to point out. Coming to that second half of the verse, when all the musicians, well, mainly the string musicians and the drummer pulled back too, but when they dropped down, created that space, I thought that was a really good choice. Not, not something I would have thought about doing there, mainly because the song's that well-known, you're just ingrained in, hearing it a particular way, but that's nice thinking outside of the box. Anyway, I've rambled for long enough in this section. Let's go back and actually get some music. Okay, of all the instruments to have taken a solo there, I did not expect it was going to be the cello. I thought, you know, maybe it was going to be the pianist who does it or the, one of the violin players. I think they're both playing... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I think they are both playing violins. While I do know there is a difference, I'm not an expert on the difference between a viola and a violin... I believe it is a size thing. But I think they're both violin players. Yeah, I did not expect it was going to be the cello player who took the solo. Just goes to show I'm quite easily surprised, apparently. Anyway, I th 
think the vocals are about to come back in. Or a vo vocal solo, maybe. So I'm going to go back. Oh, and just one more thing. If you have seen me kind of flinching when restarting the videos, I've stupidly got the uh, volume very high in these headphones and I don't really want to adjust it mid-video so I'm just sticking it out and hoping my eardrums survive. Vocal solo. curious is she gonna go for the high whales in the next bit we'll say she's got a really powerful voice she definitely had a lot of vocal training i would have blown out my vocal cords by now and have done on many an occasion singing way louder than i should have been once again almost forgot to go back Okay, look, I'm not going to bag it out or hang crap on it or take anything away from it just because they didn't do quite what I wanted um, in that, you know, the last chorus section. Anyone who knows the original knows Stephen Tyler kind of lets loose and just wails out the dream on part and they went a different route where it was more you know, finesse well finesse and power rather than raw screaming emotion let's face it like i don't think it would have worked quite as well in that style of cover because um, it wasn't quite as an emotional rendition of it so it was probably a good choice but I just like seeing singers let loose now and then oh there you go they actually told me it was a viol viola once again I'm not an expert in every 
instrument hell and yes i'm just being flippant here i'm not even an expert in my chosen instrument you want an expert in that instrument you look at getty lee or les les claypool but um where was i yeah it was a viola um it was a, a really well done cover like definitely a different take on the song and once again as much as i'm not a huge aerosmith fan that's a pretty powerful and emotion-filled song and if you try and replicate it and don't the song's not going to work so going in a very different direction definitely a good choice and the style that they're doing the songs in which is obviously a uh, you know more jazz, lounge jazz type feel you're not going to be able to pack that kind of emotion into the song you can still get emotion in it don't get me wrong but it's a different type of emotion it's not as much of a desperation as what the original had yeah but they did really well every video i've seen of theirs they they do a good job they're obviously very good at their instruments very good at arranging music and picking when to do things so yeah well done. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Once again, this was a guaranteed song request from my Patreon subscribers. Um, if you want to have a guaranteed song request, feel free to head over and join up on Patreon. But by all means, continue putting song requests in the comments of the songs because... While I may not do every song that gets requested, I do see them all. I do my best to read as many of the comments as possible and I try and react in some way to it so people know that they've been noticed and that their opinion has been taken on board. But obviously I can't get to every song that gets requested. And there's some songs that get requested that I know way too well to be doing a reaction video of. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Um, help spread the word of the channel. As I said, that's what the channel was created for. And on a personal note, the more people who see the video... The more people who will request songs and that broadens my musical horizons um yeah and if you want to support the channel further please head on over to the patreon page sign up if you'd like to there'll be a couple of songs on there that will not be going on youtube for either a long time or at all um unfortunately my last patreon request was not visible to likely 95 to or above percent of my audience because it was blocked by youtube thanks for that guys supporting the uh independent artists well there and there's a couple i'm going to put up on patreon and they're just going to sit there for at least a couple of months just as a thank you to the people who've joined up over there those ones will eventually come to youtube but they get sit on patreon for a while well that's about all for this i am going to do another video straight after i finish editing this to put directly onto youtube just to make up for the fact that youtube decided to block my last video for the most part yeah, I want to get some regular content out there for 
the people who've been nice enough to support the channel thus far and for anyone else who might be just discovering it and putting up with my uh, learning journey as it is. Albeit new music or actually working out what the hell I'm actually doing with video editing. I've been doing music mixing and editing for a couple of decades, albeit on much better equipment while I've got in my home studio. Video editing, um, my first video on the reactions was, I'm pretty sure that was the first video I actually edited myself. So you guys have seen my entire journey on that one. Once again, I found myself rambling again, so I'm actually going to cut it there because otherwise I'll never get on to the editing part. So, have a good one, guys. As always, be excellent to each other. Party undoes. Peace out. Catch you later.